I do not want to vlog today. I know I haven't vlogged in a while, but these are strange days. I like that door song. That's what, that's what the song's been going in my, that's what the song's been stuck in my mind for the past five days. The slow season is upon us. I have no time to fuck around. No time to fuck around. I need to try to make the most amount of money possible while driving an Uber in Miami when eh, we're getting a glimpse. We still got some events this month and we got the F1 in early May. There's still hope, but make no mistake, slow season is coming. All right, let's, let's try to do something. Well, I did not expect to be here. King's Wreckers. Yeah. I want to report before you depart. Nothing else. There's a lot of cars here for investigation. All right, no problem, man. Oh, as you can tell, <laughs> I'm at a towing lot. Apparently. Why does my car smell like pot? <sighs> Fucking A, bro. Miami. Somebody in here smoking pot? Anyways, I woke up this morning right after I filmed that intro. And my car was towed. Now, it was my fault. I sometimes park it, as you guys may know, across the street for a few hours to um, in a visitor spot to uh, so that the cabin doesn't heat up but I woke up this well, I woke up this morning I, sorry I can't think basically my my top my fucking Tesla got towed Luckily, a guy from the group chat came by, picked me up, and took me over here. I'm by the airport now. All right. So, it's just been a hell of a day. Already, and I haven't even started. All right, let me, let me get out of here so these guys don't think I'm filming cars and a lot. Look at how many... There's a lot of... Look, people are uh, confiscating scooters. I, can, I guess DoorDashers and Uber Eats guys are illegally doing DoorDash on fucked up scooters or unregistered scooters. So I'm leaving here this tow truck yard by the airport. Look at these fucking repoed cars and shit. It was my fault, it was my fault. But I've parked there hundreds of times, hundreds of times, and, and nothing's ever happened. You know, it's convenient because it's like, bro, you park your car there even for a few hours, in the morning, and when the sun comes out, you know, your car is in a hot box, which is stupid because I have this, the climate thing, that's what I've been doing is turning the AC on before, like a half hour or 20 minutes before I'm ready to get on the road. So I don't really need to do that anymore. But just force a habit, I did it. And I paid the price, 145 bucks, so. Basically, a good chunk of what I made last night came out into. But why did why does my car smell like fucking pot? Is what I like to know. I'm gonna turn up the air. I'm gonna get a new mango pineapple thing. All right, so we start the day off with a fucking bummer. You know what I've noticed? I was gonna talk about this in the intro, anyways. Since I've not been posting, so often my vlogs I have been doing live streams if you haven't checked out my live streams check out my live streams um, there was a metric on my YouTube studio I'll see if I can find it but it said something like 82% or 92% of my viewers last month something ridiculous were new viewers. So there's a good chance that a lot of you watching this right now have no fucking clue who I am, 
Uh, what I've been doing, vlogging about the last two years of my fucking life. I used to vlog DoorDash for fun. Started getting a little following. Moved over to Uber, got the Tesla. As a matter of fact, I'm wearing the same thing <laughs> that I, if you check out the, the first Tesla vlog I ever did last year, I'm wearing the same outfit. The, uh, the Karl Lagerfeld uh, sweatsuit and the Supreme hat. <sighs> trying to gather my thoughts here. So a lot of you guys are new. Might not know who the hell I am. I'm just an Uber driver who vlogs and rants in his car. But I take you on a little journey, a little journey. Some of my vlogs are over an hour long because it starts in the middle of the, in the beginning of the day and it ends at night. And I vlog my experiences with Uber and doing rideshare. And uh, so for those of you who are new, my name is Mario, Mario Mateo. There's a fucking stretcher there. Just a lot of shit going on. Cops. This is not a good area to be in. I'm like in fucking Hialeah. Why do I always end up in Hialeah? Whenever there's, whenever you have no fucking clue, this is the, the Hialeah is like a wormhole in Miami. Like you have no plans of ever setting foot in Hialeah. You're gonna end up here one day, and it's when you least expect it. Like, did you think when I woke up this morning I'm gonna be like, oh, that's cool. Maybe in a couple hours, I'll be in fucking Hialeah. No, no one ever thinks that, but we're always here. And there's always problems in Hialeah. People getting towed, police officers being called, stretchers, emergency vehicles. All right, let me get on. The good thing about where this tow truck thing is, I'm gonna take the 112 and we're going to the airport lot. I do a lot of airport runs in Uber. So I, I, I I feel like maybe since that metric kind of opened my eyes and I'm also kind of pissed off at that metric because that means my returning viewers, right? I only have a little over a thousand subs on YouTube. I call them sus scribers. If you don't know that, well, we uh, there's a thing called the susometer and the, the susometer is uh, Something I use throughout my vlogs whenever I see uh, attractive women or have impure thoughts. Usually involves, um, you know, sorority girls from the University of Miami that I pick up, as I did yesterday. There was pool parties yesterday. So the susso meter was going wild yesterday, but I did not vlog yesterday. And the other reason I say sus scribe is because, well, as a Cuban American, I say the word subscribe. Sometimes I say it fast and I just say subscribe. And of course, my friend Willie pointed it out one day and he says, oh, well, you'd say subscribe instead of subscribe. And I said, oh, you know what? Fuck it, I'm doubling down. Since I'm a sus Uber driver, I'm gonna say subscribe to my channel. Anyways, long story, not that interesting. So very few of you have returned, so I think I should focus these vlogs. As we head into the Miami airport lot, I think maybe I should focus on talking to the new viewers, because there's quite a bit of you, new viewers. Now, some, sometimes my content's boring, sometimes it's too long, sometimes it's verbose, sometimes I use vocabulary words. Um, a lot of times I get frustrated in traffic, I have road rage, um, but overall, you know, I'm a pretty genuine guy. What you see is what you get, and I don't try to hide anything or try to sugarcoat anything, and I show you the reality of my day-to-day, -day. driving rideshare, driving Uber. Uh, so I'm going to try to block off the fact that I just threw away $145 down the toilet I wonder if Hertz is gonna get wind of this, and I wonder if they're gonna charge me a fee. I hope not. Anyways, let's go to the airport lot and try to block the last two hours from my mind. <sighs> Join me. Okay, I've got a ride to 91st Avenue. I'm gonna take it. 
Um, not a great ride, but whatever, 11 bucks and some change or whatever it said. And it's going to kickstart my day. And hopefully I can find some. It's been a slow week, guys. I was talking to Vinny Cuz, another uh, YouTuber who does ride share. Vinny was telling me, uh, well, on the live stream, he, he commented in, he goes, slow season is here. And I'm like, well, I'm not willing to say that it's here for good, right? Somebody was telling me in the group chat, it's still technically spring break. Some people here are off of school. And I've noticed when people are off of the school, people are not working in the school system, a lot of extra drivers turn on their Uber apps to make some extra money. So that might be a little bit of what we saw this past week, the past couple weeks. When your market is off for spring break, a lot of extra drivers punch in. So I, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping it's that. We still have events in April. We still have the F1 races. Check out those fucking vlogs from last year. That was crazy. I'm going to be more prepared this year. Uh, well, what can we do? All right, let's see. Where am I meeting this person? Door 21, lower level. Now, when I pick up somebody from the airport, everybody's sick of hearing this. There you go. Hello, I'll be in a black Tesla. I'll have my hazard lights on as I approach door 21 at arrivals, period. Thank you, exclamation point. That's a little trick I use to make sure that the rider I'm picking up here at the airport is where I need to be. Because if I... If they're upstairs, I need to cross over here. If they're not, I need to keep going straight. And arrivals traffic is always worse than departures traffic. I just, my brain's been everywhere, man. My brain, my brain has been, Friday was a bad day for me. I, this live golf tournament, which today is the final day. I don't know what's going on with it. They were offering us $15 extra per ride. <clears throat> for staying at this 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 parking lot and I, I stayed there with a couple guys from the group chat on Friday and nothing rang nothing rang it's like the event doesn't exist or it's a lot smaller than it they built themselves up to be but I remember last year doing a lot of premiere rides from there so that put me in a sour mood and then a few other things happened on Friday that just put me in a shitty mood and I called it quit early and I barely made any money on Friday. I needed to resettle my brain. I need to, uh, you know, I needed to regroup my thoughts. I can't, I do not like driving as much as you see me in a bad mood because of traffic and shit. When I'm really in a bad mood, like I can't even vlog. Like, I can't do this. I can't deal with anything. So I just said, okay, let me, instead of driving in a bad mood and risking a car accident, risking driving rec recklessly because I'm like impatient, um, let me, let me just call a day off. Let me just call it a day. And I'm glad I did. I went out a little bit later after I calmed down but you never want to do Uber when you're in a shitty mood. And I know that's tough because the things that happen to you throughout the day in this application, it's easily to put, it easily puts you in a shitty mood. But you gotta kinda work through it. Like I'm pretty, as, as much as I fucking space out and let shit affect me during the, the course of the day, I'm pretty good at, I'm, I think it's my age. I'm pretty good at keeping it together. Like I can plow through it. But some days you're just in a fucking mood where you're like, I, I just don't, I just want to go home and I want to rest. The thing is you don't, you get very little rest in this job. You get little, very little rest. When you do this full time, it's hard to find a break. So I needed a break and it sucks that it had to, fucking land on a Friday where, you know, more rides out there than normal. 
But if it's a Friday I have to take off, it's a Friday I have to take off. I would rather it be a Tuesday or a Wednesday or a Monday. But it was a Friday, so I, whatever. I'm here, I'm gonna pick up this lady at door 21 and we'll see you at the drop off, okay? I usually do a white transition between the pickup and the drop off. So here's the white transition. Okay, just dropped off, nice lady. We're in Southwest Miami, not too far. Not a bad ride actually, 11 bucks for a short distance ride from the airport. I need to get this car washed. Another thing that I do at the beginning of most of my vlogs, almost every one of my vlogs, sometimes I'll skip a day, but I take this thing to L car wash. And believe it or not, when I'm stuck in the short little uh, assembly line that is the car wash uh, machinery, and the lights are flashing, and I have no control over the car, it's in neutral. I often say that that's the most uh, stressless, the most calming time of the day for me. The most, uh, I forgot what I say, but whatever. I, mean, I exaggerate, right? <laughs> it's, the, it's the most pleasant, the most peaceful, is it? Is that what I say? I don't know, you'd have to check my other vlogs. I have a whole catalog of daily vlogs. Hey, this lady gave me $3.31 tip. So it actually turned into a $14.55 ride. So that's great. Let's actually sign off and go to the car wash. Being a text from the group chat that at Dolphin Mall, which I'm kind of close by, there was a firearm, suspect with a firearm, and people were running out of there like crazy. So I'll keep my eye on that. Oh, thankfully, I don't think anybody uh, that I know was there. But crazy shit happened around in Miami all the time, man. The other day there was a in Doral as well. Um, there was a uh, Doral City Walk, which I go. I, you know, I drop off people there all the time. There was a security guard that was shot. And then a police officer shot the man who shot him and was injured with crossfire. So, I don't know, it's a very volatile time in sunny South Florida. I don't know if it's the time of the year or, I don't know, just people are getting restless. But it ain't easy when you spend all fucking day on the streets and you hear about this shit that happens and you're like, man, dude, I am everywhere. If you look at my Google, like where Apple should, you know, tracks my location every month, man, I am all those blue dots all over the map of Florida, you know, up to West Palm Beach to fucking Homestead. I'm everywhere. So it's only a matter of time you see some crazy shit. Like I see accidents all the time. Uh, ones that just happened or ones that are, you know, um, brand new, uh, you know, that, that have been there and the co cops are and, and uh, emergency vehicles have arrived to. I can't tell you how often you see that as an Uber driver. You see accidents. That's why you're, like, you're even more cautious than, than a regular driver because it's just you're around it so much. But yeah, Miami's on fucking... Alert, bro. It's been two incidents in the last week now. This makes it two. In Doral. And ironically, that's where the fucking golf tournament is at the Trump Doral. And it's slow. Like I, nobody nobody's taking rides out of that, that that those events. I don't know what's happening in Dur Doral. Anyways, let's go to the car wash. I actually have not been to this one yet. This is the West Gables on 8th Street. So let's see how this car wash measures up to the rest of the ones I usually go to. You know, L Car Wash is a great business. They have so many locations. 
and but not all of their this one looks like it's pretty long um, not all of their locations are equal I've noticed that some of them have different machinery It's just a day full of firsts. Like, this has never happened to me at the car wash. <sighs> I don't know, there's a problem with the car wash. All right, they figured out the issue. And yeah, here we go. most peaceful time of my day and it was interrupted with a problem this is not a good sign this is not a good sign I just like the colors you know this is the time we used to reflect on the day whatever happened yesterday we leave behind we don't dwell Whatever happened this morning, we leave behind. I forgot I was even towed this afternoon. Some of the car washes, this thing does not reach the front. This one reaches the front, so I'm happy with this one. All right, and now we got to vacuum and make sure that our car smells nice. All right, I vacuumed now these little these little wipies they give you here are perfect for the Tesla vegan leather. You just give them a little once over. I already did the back, but yeah, I vacuumed all clean. And now I ran out of the best scent, another staple of my YouTube channel. They're not a sponsor, but they should be because I mention them almost every time I go to the car wash. This, this company called Scent Best, and specifically their mango pineapple flavor, or fragrance. I get so many good compliments on the smell. Every, like literally, like if I do 20 rides in one day, 16 of them say, oh my God, it smells amazing in your car. Like, not, oh, your car smells nice. No, it's like, it smells amazing in here. And it's the mango pineapple by Scent Best. Not the best name for a brand, but I guess it's got the word best in it and it's kind of in bold letters. It is the best. And I'm not just saying that because I have tried similar oil-based fragrances like um, the, the there's one called Scent Bomb or something or The Bomb. And it's similar, but it's not the same. I mean, if you can't, if you don't have scent best in your area you can go with and any oil-based spray you spray it onto the carpets of your car or the uh, mats and boy it your car smells like refreshing and peaceful and pleasant so they sell them at West Stars for some reason West Star so if I see a West Star around here I'm gonna pull over and uh, acquire some best scent or scent best well wouldn't you know i'm driving right by a west star hopefully they have it here although it doesn't look like they have much of a yeah there's a little there's a little shopping area a little food mart let me see if they got it all right they didn't have the scent best they had they had scent bomb but it's worth it to get the best scent all right if this isn't a great ad for best scent I don't know what is because I'd rather just wait until I find one that has scent best because it's that much better
All right, I am on Lejeune Road. This West Star up here generally has the best scent. So let's cross our fingers. But the last time I was at this West Star, they had the best scent uh, display, but they did not have mango pineapple. And I end up buying Clean Breeze or something, which is good, but it's not the mango pineapple. The mango pineapple is key. It's clutch. All right, let's cross our fingers. All right, well, unless they changed names, I don't see best scent here. Oh, wait, here they are. There they are. Mango pineapple clutch. All right, we have acquired the best scent. Scent best. That's the problem with the name. So you don't know which word goes first, best or scent. But we got it. And now to make the magic happen. <laughs> All right, let's set the camera up. And also, like, bro, how how difficult is it for the car fragrance market? There's two new brands that's not Best Scent or Scent Bomb? Ah, fresh new. <sighs> this is the best stuff, man. I missed it. All right. Let's continue. We're up by the airport. Let's go try to hustle another ride. It's trying times, guys. I'm feeling the pressure. I'm feeling the pressure. Maybe tomorrow things get better. I, I, I'm, I'm betting on this spring break theory. You know, tomorrow spring break should officially be over for every fucking school in the goddamn country. So, hopefully, that has something to do with it. To the airport we go. All right, we are at the lot, everything. All right, 11 bucks, I'll take it. Fuck it. Just give me the first radar that comes out of here. Desperation kicks in, bro. All right, we got it. $11 ride out of the airport. We're doing it. I was just saying, I had, that, I had a couple songs stuck in my head throughout this week. <laughs> they were all songs from the 60s. One of them was from The Doors, and one of them was from Led Zeppelin. The Doors was... <laughs> decided to turn on Uber X yesterday, and fucking it took forever to make the first $100. I did 33 fucking rides last night. Yesterday. That's insane. I usually only do 10, 15 tops. Bro. Uh, Jim Morrison. Strange days, you know? <laughs> These are strange days, man. The strange days were, bro, uh, we had a hell of a march, premier rides were ringing, comfort rides were ringing consistently, and then all of a sudden, this week, it's like somebody pulled the, pulled the rug from under our feet. And the other song I just started thinking about today was the uh, Led Zeppelin. Dancing days are here again. It's like, I want to change the lyrics, bro. Uber X days are here again. Something about the summer nights are long. And bro, that, I don't know, I just, I just equate those songs with a shifting of the poles. Let's see where, where the fuck this person is. All right, lower level. Fuck! Sometimes I would tell them to go upstairs. So we're 13 lower level. I just thought of those songs because it's like, you know, strange days. These are strange days ahead of us. Dancing days are here again. Basically, what you thought was regular has now ceased. And now these are new times. Now, that Zeppelin was dancing days, but for us, it's Uber X days. Uber X, man. Fucking doing $5 rides, $4 rides. I did a eight, I did a, I did a $3 and 80 something cent ride yesterday. But the good news is that it added to the quest. I have a 40 ride quest. That is, was paying me something like 30 bucks more. So I knocked this quest out by yesterday night. Now, 
I have the uh, the option of doing an extra 10 rides and they're going to give me $10 extra, which is shit, but it lets you know we haven't seen a Quest in Uber in months. Months. At least February was the last time I, I remember doing a, a Quest where they would pay you extra if you completed 40 rides or 50 rides. And this week was a big eye opener when you saw the in the opportunities tab quests were back from friday to monday for friday to sunday 40 rides pays 30 extra dollars so i was like fuck it nothing's ringing i'm gonna activate here in the university of miami and do uber x rides and i just did short as a matter of fact i declined high paying rides because my goal was to do as much rides as possible within the two or three hours that I was out in the afternoon. So I knocked out the quest. That's the only good news I can tell you. Other than that, we're, we're struggling here, guys. We're struggling. I hope it picks up. I think we're not in the regular slow season. The regular slow season, if I can fucking talk, that guy smoking pot in my car, the regular slow season for me didn't start until mid to late May of last year. Basically summertime. And June, July, August were all miserable months. Memorial Day weekend's coming up though. Maybe I shouldn't go to Orlando that weekend and I should stay down here, but I didn't do too bad when I did. I check out my Disney vlogs where I Ubered in Disney for Memorial Weekend last year. Those were good times, though. I had a good time. Maybe I should do that again this year. All right. Dropped off the customer. Right here by Marlins Park. If you didn't see my Marlins Park vlog, where you been? Oh, that's right. It's on my Spanish channel. So I filmed Easter Sunday with my dad. We went to the Marlins game for the beginning of the game, and then we went to uh, spend it with our family. But, yep. Yeah. This is not that far from the airport, $11 ride, so not horrible. Uh, but yeah, Lone Depot Park. And the Marlins finally won a game today, from what I see. They had eight in a row lost. They just won their first game of the season. We're in dead last place. Unbelievable. But I plan on going to a few more Marlins games this year, hopefully. Uh, my dad has the hookup. All right, $12 comfort. Yeah, fuck it. All right, I'm getting a comfort ride. That's good news. My dad has some friends with that have some seats behind home plate, and one of them had access to the PNC club, and I filmed what, how the 1%... Actually, it's not the 1%, but it, there are expensive seats. It's like... Obviously, obviously, now I have to make a right. Obviously. Um, it was nice. The PNC Club, there's like a nice spread there, like a buffet style. It's a guy carving out like nice meat, brisket or whatever. And uh, I had a good time. Uh, clearly they lost because it was like the freaking fourth game of the season. But hopefully they, they can pick it back up, man. You know what? I'd rather the Marlins start off shitty. They usually start off good and everybody gets their hopes up. Now, I'm glad that we're like, oh, fuck. We're, we, we, fuck it. We, cause let's face it, the first 10 games of the season don't mean shit. So I'm glad they, now it's like we can build up to something, you know? But my dad says, my dad's into baseball. My dad says that their pitching doesn't last and, uh, that's what's affecting us, that we don't have good pitchers. And a lot of new guys, a lot of guys that don't last. And then managerial uh, decisions, uh, when to put the closers, when to put the middlers, you know? So, all right, we got a comfort ride and we're gonna pick it up. Let's take out the beautiful views of Miami River. Wasn't that nice? All right, picking up, dropping off. All right, I have dropped off that customer here in Mary Brickle Village. 
the center of Brickell, Miami. I see movement. This is good news. I see movement. I see people walking around, going to going to bars, going to restaurants. Um, it's always a TikToker on this corner. Let's see if he's out there right now. Um, yeah, we're just plowing through. Uh, usually I vlog every one of my little fucking journeys, but right now, sun setting. I'm gonna take a little break. When I take a little extended break through the passage of time, the passage of time, the importance of the passage of time, we do a diamond transition. Now, when I do a diamond transition, it means we cut to the next scene and it cuts into a diamond-like shape. But for me, it's almost like my clockwork thing, you know? But I don't have the clockwork transition, so I use the diamond transition and I usually preference it by going diamond transition, diamond transition. Transition, diamond transition, diamond transition. As you can see, now it's nighttime. Some time has passed. I did like three rides from the airport. I've already surpassed a hundred dollars. I'm at one fifteen oh two, and it's ten o'clock. Not so bad. Not great. I wish I wouldn't have gotten towed today. <laughs> but I'm almost, I'm almost at what I had to pay to get my car out. I'm here stuck, going on the A36. Had traffic, so I got out, and I hear I'm stuck on a bridge, on. Uh, in downtown by the hospitals. You can't really see from this angle, but the bridge is going up. It's kind of dark. I feel like my vision's getting worse at night, driving at night. It's part of getting old, right? I understood that this was gonna happen. I just, I didn't think I was ever gonna need to be like a nighttime driver <laughs> to make a living. But here I am. Um, so the day's going by like, all right, it's still early. It's 10 03 and, uh, I'm still doing rides from the airport. Not much has been ringing. There's a Madonna concert. I dropped off, uh, some young Colombian ladies there earlier. I, that was the only non-airport ride I did. It was an Uber X that was, that came to me as I was dropping off a client. But yeah, man, it's just um, talking to the group chat. Uh, if you don't know what the group chat is, I have a WhatsApp uh, team of Uber drivers that also drive Teslas. And it's about 20 of us. And we constantly communicate with each other on how areas are doing that we're in. We, we give information about traffic we tell each other by voice note, like if there's a, a surge at the airport, if they're paying well, what kind of rides we're doing, where we're getting premier rides, if we do get them, we just, we just communicate. And it's inval in invaluable. And it's kind of hard to do because not only do you have to be paying attention to the Uber app, which itself can be challenging, but once you have some kind of information that you think is going to be beneficial to a group of people. We're all friends. Uh, we, we share that information and it's helped everybody. It was like everybody pitches in and every day you either learn something new or you avoid a situation that if you didn't have a WhatsApp group chat with the common goal of helping each other out that it, it would make the day a lot uh, you know uh, complicated a lot more complicated so I'm here um, I'm kind of more in a relaxed mood like now that I've done a few airport runs and I just got a three dollar tip now I'm at 118 um, it's just a weird vibe, man. And I hope that next week is a little bit more promising. I hope whoever's spring break theory that was, that that was why we suffered a little bit of a 
a slow week this past week. But anyways, we're here. I'm fine. Things could be worse. Instead of towed, being towed, I could have gotten into an accident. Um, a bunch of things could have happened that were worse. So I think $145 towing fee, although that sucks, it's probably not the worst thing that could have happened to you, you know? All right, this bridge is going down, so... I don't know. I, I, I think I feel like cutting this one short, guys. I don't know what else to uh, talk about. My brain is scrambled. I usually like to talk about random subjects on these Uber vlogs that have nothing to do with Uber or inside baseball about how to run the Uber app or anything. Not that I'm some kind of expert. Um, but today, I just, I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling it. It's just a lot of things going on, man. I got to start preparing for my hip surgery coming up in May or June. I have to settle that down. I have a lot of things that I need to concentrate on and kind of prepare for because obviously I'm going to be out for at least a week to recover from that surgery. That's another thing, man. I don't want to let go of this car and then have it. Although by then, Hertz, Hertz is also, uh, I know in the summertime, a lot of people turn in their Teslas because like this week, it's because it's good. It's going to become increasingly harder to justify paying 450 to $500 a week for this car. If you're only going to make a thousand dollars a week or $800 a week. So you're basically, you're paying off the car and you're making 300 bucks a week. I mean, you might as well work at McDonald's. So, Hertz has a new um, program, a discounted rate that I'm going to inquire about because I think they're 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 marking these things down to two hundred and two hundred and seventy nine dollars a week which would make a huge difference. When you add insurance and the, okay, we're moving now. When you add insurance and the charging fees, you know, that's gonna make a big difference. As far as, because they're normally 329 a week. So, you know, that's a good chunk of change. You know, $50 less a week. That's, that's considerable. All right, so I'll see you guys at the airport, and I'm going to sign off soon because I, I don't know how much more I want to vlog, all right? <coughs> oh, fuck. I'm in Miami Beach. <clears throat> don't you hate it when you swallow spit and you like choking on it? I was at the airport. They were sending me shitty rides. I met up with one of the guys from the group chat there. We kicked it. I didn't film, so... I got a $15 and something ride to Miami Beach, which I know that sucks, but I was getting offers for $8, $9, $12, like nothing was above $15. So as soon as I saw a $15 radar, I headed over here, which is all right because it's 1114 and we're going to look at the map. That Madonna concert should be letting out soon. So I think I'm going to position myself in downtown Miami by the Kaseya Center and try to get a premiere ride out of there. I mean, God damn it, bro. Madonna fans, come on, a little older and they should have money. And uh, several of the guys have told me they've had premiere rides going to the concert. So maybe we'll get lucky with a premiere ride. My only premiere ride of the day. Something's up, guys. Is it slow season? Is it just a bad week? Is it just like, you know, we had a lot of commotion for spring break, and now it's kind of like the the uh, end of that. And so there's always a little, little dip. But we got to plow through, guys. So I'm going to head over to the Kaseya Center and find a little, little, little uh, parking spot. I think I'm going to go by my old my old college miami dade community college um where i took my core classes 
back in the <laughs> late 90s because people end up walking towards the community college to order their Ubers. So, let's see if we can get something there. Um, well, this is going to be the first vlog that I try to edit on my uh, Aunt Rosa's MacBook Air, which she has let me have. And uh, we'll see how that... Uh, if the export times, I mean, this is probably not over an hour vlog, so, but I would, I'm curious to see what the export time on an M1 chip is and how fast I can uh, edit these vlogs now that I have a little bit better computer. So that, that remains to be seen. All right, we're heading across the MacArthur into downtown. I guess I'll film whatever I get out of this Madonna concert and then I'll, then I'll sign off the vlog. Been a hectic day. Huh? All right, I am parked here, right across the street from the Kaseya Center, across the street from Bayside, and I'm gonna I'm gonna wait here with Premiere only on. I got a dollar surge. Hopefully, you know, maybe I can get a a Premiere ride that'll I don't know make the day worth it, make this wait worth it. I feel the airport lot is filled to the brim according to the guys that are there and if I go there right now and wait for a ride I might get a ride coming down here or in this direction but then this is already going to be a shit show and I'd rather just stay here and try to get a good ride out of here I'll be honest with you, even if I get like a $20, $25 ride out of here, I think I'll be okay with that. Now, I'd like, throw me a one to West Palm Beach. Whew. I mean, Madonna has a big fan base. It's not unlikely that somebody from West Palm Beach or Broward County came all the way down here. They probably took the bright line, though. That's what I would do. But you never know. So we're here. All right, <clears throat> some cars are pulling up here now. Uh, it's 11.35. I see a lot of cars parking on the side of this road here as I am doing. Quick update, Chick-fil-A girl, yeah. 2.1 million followers already on TikTok. Uh, did I call that or what? She's blowing up. And I hate to say I told you so, but Another brand, I was surprised to see this high fashion brand, Marc Jacobs, took advantage. It's already been the first major brand that I've seen on TikTok that hired this girl. I'll put the video right here. I'm just interested in purchasing a ba bag. Can you show me what bags are popular? Follow me. We have the Marc Jacobs tote bags. Oh. Hello? Okay, she's doing her quirky little and her tongue things and all that stuff. And it was a great move by them. So, to FYI, I was on that shit early. <laughs> Yo, I'm fooling around on this TikTok thing, so while we're at it, every time I'm stopped or at a charger, I uh, do some silly trend on TikTok. So, follow me on TikTok. I'll put my link right here. And the link is, well, fuck it. The link is on the, um, in the description. I have all my social media links. So all you new sus scribers, please follow me on all that shit. I really don't know what I'm doing yet, but trust me, it's going to be good eventually. <laughs> Still waiting here at Madonna. Oh, I want to tell you this. The Channel Q shit I listen to. I listen to the LGBTQ radio. They play a lot of old school Madonna. They play some 90s Madonna too, but I'm talking about 80s Madonna. Let me tell you something. There's some bangers there, bro. Borderline. One of my faves. What's the other one that always puts people, especially Uber customers, in a pleasant mood? Borderline. Uh, what's the other one? 
they play like ones that are popular, but not like the big, big hits. Like it's not like like a virgin or anything. Um, I'm burning up and then uh, your love burning up. That one's a banger. So kind of like underrated Madonna hits on the LGBTQ radio on Audacity. If you don't know, I have that. Let's see what's playing now. Okay, see, it's like it's gay radio, but they have the, their playlist is very, very good for Uber. As I've stated before, only a few songs are kind of controversial, like the. I don't know why they started playing that uh, stupid song about shaking that ass, shaking that ass. I fucking hate that song. I see you, baby, shaking that ass. So uncomfortable when there's a customer in there, especially with children. Mommy, what's this song? You want to stay away from that one. But everything else, like their hits, their Lady Gaga. A lot of them are like gay uh, culture staples, but a lot of them are just good. A lot of them, they, they just have good taste in music. A lot of dance, a lot of old school dance hits. A lot of um, a lot of new stuff like the Sabrina Carpenter and Taylor Swift and Olivia Olivia Rodrigo. A lot of good Miley Cyrus, you know, shit like that. I really like that Miley Cyrus song, Jaded. I really like that song. I like that song a lot. Um, yeah, so anyways, follow me on my social media. I'm still waiting here in Madonna for freaking... To get a good, good ride out of here. 1152, 53... Still no signs of life, although I've seen some early stragglers leaving the arena, but not, no uh, no mass exodus yet. Um, oh, by the way, I know because I just was checking my social media. The Dolphin Mall suspected shooting was a false alarm. People were running out because of, they thought there was a shooter, but police say it's all clear and it was a false report. So I just wanted to put that out there because I know I'm going to edit this and then people are going to be like, what happened at Dolphin Mall? Nothing happened at Dolphin Mall, apparently. So, all good. I am messing with the premiere hourly to see if I get any surge popping up. Because sometimes when you put on the other categories, a surge pops up and then we can coffee cup trick it, but nothing's popping up. So, I'm just going to stay in premiere. All right, well, a nice little Miami-Dade parking attendant told me to move in a nice way he wasn't a dick about it he was like hello and it wasn't just me he asked all everybody who was parked on that street to move along now move along shit now i'm stuck in the middle of fucking biscayne i'll just find another spot but this is about to turn into a shit show it's already 12 11 mm. what are we gonna do that's, that's weird because we always park there during concerts. I guess they're just cracking down. All right. All right, so I just basically went around the block. They This is where I was, down that street, parked over there. But they have this blocked off, so I guess they were just clearing the street. Which is weird because we usually park on this street for concerts. But whatever, I'm just gonna try to find something ahead of there. That's where Miami-Dade College is right there. Okay, and I'm looking at here, I have Premiere and Premiere Hourly, and it's showing that it, it's 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 showing this area without that ashy, you're not gonna get a ride here zone. There are people walking out of the concert already, but the smart people, fuck, that was a spot right there. I'm gonna park back right here. But, I have not gotten any orders, so I'm just waiting on the people. The people that are leaving now are smart because they know this is going to turn into an uber fucking shit show of cancellations and wait times. I'm just surprised that none of the people leaving early have ordered premiere rides yet. All right, so here, no one's going to kick me out of this fucking spot. We're right in front of the Miami-Dade College, as you can see here. This is one of the buildings. And we're just gonna wait here. Okay, so, yeah, I've waited too, way too long here. 
but whatever. Uh, I turned on X just to see what, like what, because I'm like behind the, the arena, right? So I don't know. I see a bunch of cars speeding through me. So I'm like, is it, is it, are, are the rides coming in? Are the rides coming in? But I'm in Premiere only. So I turned on Uber X and I screen grabbed one of the offers I got. Look at that piece of shit, bro. Look at that. And you know what? What's the worst part? Is Uber says that's going to be 40 minutes. This is downtown Miami. Wants me to grab the expressway and then go all through Hialeah, all the way up. Sorry, hold on. Fucking start getting text messages from my group chat. So now I, I don't want to put any other information on here. Okay. This is goddamn near fucking Cooper City. This is like way past. It's like Miramar or fucking almost. Goddamn, that's so far. That ride is not going to take you 40 minutes. Maybe in a helicopter, that ride will take you 40 minutes. But the way that's drawn out there on the, on the, on the line, first of all, this is all Okeechobee Road. This has fucking um, traffic lights all over it. That is an hour, an hour and 15 minute ride. And it says, oh, it's only going to take you 40 minutes. Go ahead and do it. Pembroke Pines, that, that, that's where it is. Pembroke Pines, 22 bucks. <laughs> That same ride, Premiere, would probably be paying me 50 bucks. You know? So, it's kind of crazy, bro. So, I turned off... Obviously, I didn't accept it. So, um, we wait. We wait. People are coming out, but I'm waiting for a great ride. All right, I'm now... This is a good sign. It says UberX is busy. And we got to wait for all these assholes who ordered UberX and UberX share... To realize no one's going to pick them up or there's a shit show of cars and uh, they're going to be waiting until they finally decide to either order Comfort, Comfort Electric, or what I'm looking for. Right there, baby. Premiere. Just give me one good Premiere ride, man. I've had a rough day. I've had a rough fucking day, man. Probably not even going to break 200 today, man. I'm at 133. Will I break 200? I might have to work all night. You know, Kiki on the River does good on Sundays. I might come back here and try to pick up some fucking sugar daddies and their little prepubescent fucking girlfriends. Sickening what happens in that place, bro. It's like, you see these like little thin model types that look like they're fucking 17 years old and then they're like with these fat, bald fucking white haired fucking ugh. people like with you know with, with with like money who own like yachts and shit and they just go around girls it's fucking disgusting and they're all at Kiki on the river it's it's gross I mean it's okay when I uh, <laughs> it's okay when I you know look at girls uh coming out of that club but you know these rich old guys with fucking white hair and uh, that dark tan skin you know like the fucking a hey. <laughs> but whatever bro I'll take their money all right now we're starting to see some surge check that out 450 eight dollars by the port of Miami. How the fuck am I going to get there? It's closed. All right, people are walking in this direction. It's like an 80s fucking vibe. Like people are dressed as Madonna from the 80s. But yeah, I see I see people already walking towards this area. The son of a bitch about doing this is it takes a lot of time, but it's slow anyway, so like what else do you have to do? But it takes a lot of time out of your day to sit here and wait for a ride. And then when you finally do get a ride, well, like if they throw me a premiere right now and I start moving my car, there's no guarantee that that person isn't going to cancel on me or they're going to be in a spot where I can't get to. So this is just like, you know, as always, it's a shit show. All right. I got my first premiere ride, but I didn't like where it was headed. 
it's kind of by Sunny Isles. So I didn't accept it. And this might be a mistake. This might be a mistake. Future Mario, are you editing this? Tell me if this was a mistake. But here's the ride. I screen grabbed it. I don't know, I just felt, okay, look. Now we're getting a $17 one to Brickle. Okay, I can do this one and come back. All right, see? So, see, because that $31 one, it's a good ride, but... Oh, great. Are you fucking kidding me? This lady is literally, this lady is literally where I was parked. <laughs> this lady is literally standing where I was parked for 30 minutes before that guy told me to move. By taking this $17 one to Brickle, when I drop this chick off, I can still come back here, even if it's not a premiere ride, for another $15 to $20 order and that's more than 31 and I'm not in sunny fucking aisles in the middle of nowhere. You know, it was just, it was too long for a trip. All right, so we're picking up and going to Brickle and then hopefully coming back for round two. Hopefully it still premieres in, but if not, I'll go down to Comfort or Electric. All right, 450 surge, bam, dude, there's a 650. There's a 675 surge now. Just dropped off this nice lady from Brazil. Brazilians love Madonna. Um, and I'm still in the area. It was such a close ride. Now think about this. I was so on the money with this. I'd be not even halfway towards the uh, Sunny Isles right now with $31. Now I got $17 in the bank. I had a little chit chat with Brazilian girl, so Hopefully she tips. And buddy, we're still in Brickle. We're going right back across that fucking bridge and picking up another goddamn ride. And I'll tell you what, if I get another $17 ride to Brickle, I'm accepting that too. Maybe the key is not going too far away from the hot zone, man. It just let out. These fuckers closed the street that I was in. I picked this girl. I, I parked right there on the on the corner of where I was. The cops have it all blocked out. And I messaged the girl. Thank God she was like totally cool. She was like, oh, okay, I'll, I'm, I'm on my way. She walked over. I told her that the cops closed the street down. She said, no problem. I'll be there. And we got out of there fairly quick. It was like a direct line. Basically cross the bridge and we're in Brickle. All right, now I gotta watch out for these fucking Madonna. I was gonna use a word. For these Madonna fans. <laughs> and uh, we're going back. And look at that map, bro. That's what you wanna see, bro. That's what you wanna see. Come on, bro, give me another premiere ride. Premiere. We need the premiere. This fucking light in Brickle. It's got the goddamn no right turn sign. All right, like that. We are right back into the action here. Nothing is ringing. If I don't get a premiere ride, I'm gonna I'm gonna hold out for a little bit. But I got a 550 surge. I can coffee cup this, or turn comfort or Comfort Electric on, but who knows? I might still get a premiere ride. Still a lot of people leaving this area. These fucking cops make a big show out of every fucking event here, man. They gotta close fucking streets. I don't understand how closing streets makes any of this more efficient. Blocking streets, closing streets. Now I gotta make a U-turn, I can't cross. Meanwhile, people are fucking ordering Ubers on the fucking sidewalks, like, desperately looking for a fucking ride. All right, looks like the majority of the people have left. The wave, the first wave. See, if I was in Sunny Isles right now, I'd be totally fucked. But at least now, I can try to get, there's still a bunch of people across the street. We're right here in the thick of the shit. We're gonna cross. 
We're gonna cross over one more block. These fuckers, it says 675 surge and it's only showing me 550. Um, I'm just gonna give it a little bit. I'm not gonna get desperate and turn comfort on right away. Even though I have a 550 surge, a comfort ride would pay almost like a premiere. Let's just hang back. All right, so now we're on the other side of the street. As you could see, there are people on the sidewalks just based, paced, patiently waiting. Probably just like waiting out their little Uber X rides. They're like just chilling. A lot of people. You know? What's the thing, man? Who knows how much this concert is? A fucking t-shirt in there costs you $55. And then on top of that, you gotta pay for the fucking extra fucking Uber. I mean, these are just these are just traps for rich people, bro. It's like, yeah, if you if you're not on a budget, no problem. But everybody else is like, yo, I just fucking busted my nut here at the Madonna concert. I got a t-shirt, I got a souvenir. I fucking had drinks and fuck it. If I have to wait 30 minutes for a goddamn Uber X to show up, then I guess that's what we're doing. You know, the convenience of ordering a premiere to get your fucking ride right away just, I guess, isn't a priority. You know, the night's over. We can wait 15 minutes for a fucking Uber. Nothing's ringing. I might, I might go down to comfort, but I might just chill and park where I was earlier. This is where I picked up the last customer right here. So I'm just gonna pull over and maybe park here and wait for something else to ring. Okay. You know, two can play that patient game, patiently waiting. I'm just gonna chill. Well, let's see. Let's see. let's. It doesn't hurt to see what a comfort ride is paying. Let's. We turned on comfort. Let's see what we get. Nothing. Not a comfort. Oh wait. This fucking thing always takes it off. Okay, now we turned on comfort. I swear to God, this app, bro, you, you click on those categories and it comes off. Comes off, it comes on. Biggest pain in the ass. All right, let's, let's put on Uber X and let's see how fast we get a fucking ride. Oh, I'm running out of battery on this one now too. Did we turn on Uber X? Yeah, we turned on Uber X, it says busy. Okay, 14, 19 to North Miami. See, shit rides. I might as well be. Let's see. I'll wait you out. I'll wait you out, Mr. Premier Ride. I'll wait you out. I'm going to switch the batteries on this phone. All right, new battery. New battery. All right. We're here. Still nothing. No Premier Rides. I think the Premier customer is few and far between at these concerts, and the ones that. Uh, that are willing to pay the premiere prices are probably already out of here. It's the problem with premiere. It's very, you could tell it's very scarce. So let's go ahead and put comfort and electric on and see if we can get maybe a long distance ride, maybe going back into South Miami so I can charge the car because it's already fucking 1.15 a.m. Like, I don't know, you know, just, you know, just trying to trying to get something else. Comfort, Comfort Electric. We've given up on Premiere. Did we give up on Premiere? Now we could still get a Premiere, but we're just given the option to do the other categories now. Plus a 550 surge. Turn this fucking music down when you get copyright strike. Nothing, nothing. Too cheap for comfort? All right, let's see. What's Premier? What's what's Uber X doing? We turned on Uber X. Thirty-three to plantation. Yeah. Well, it's thirty-three for thirty-four fucking minutes. Plantation. 
Oh, all right. Fuck it. Didn't want to go there anyways. Didn't get it. Nine dollars. Oh, this is a person going like he wants to fucking park. Wants to me to take him to the fucking parking lot. All right. So now the surge went down to four twenty-five. Come on, bro. Nine. Come on, bro. Let's turn off X for a while. You see how Uber fucks you? Like, declining that $9 fucking short distance ride took me, took my surge out and then made the surge a little less. Because I had five, I mean, it's only a dollar and 25 cents less, but fine. No one's ordering comfort, bro. No one's ordering comfort. Really? You know, fucking people in the ghetto order comfort. No one from the fucking Madonna show orders comfort. Group chat is still uh, banking on uh, waiting for Premiere. No, nothing. Estoy en Premier y Premier por hora y no me suena nada. Puse Comfort, Comfort Electric tampoco. X suena, pero viaje cortico y lo rechazo. Just told them basically nothing's ringing in the categories except UberX and the UberX rides are short and I declined them. Yeah, by the way, the group chat is in Spanish for all the new listeners to my freaking vlogs I'm getting a little impatient now let's 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 give X another shot no bro no look look this was longer than the last ride I did for 17 to see the disparity eight dollars versus 17 all right 12 Miami Sprint one wow, these are shitty bro how can that be including Look at these shitty offers in X. No. Well, this one's by the airport, but no. Okay, we're turning off X. We cannot do X. I just thought maybe we can get an Uber X ride for 20 bucks down to South Miami or something like that, bro. But fuck. Miami Springs? For 12 bucks? Shit. Mind you. I'd still be on my way to Sunny Isles right now for 31. Oh. What a day, bro. What a day. All right, I took X off, man, but bro, the bruise, the surge bruise is starting to heal. There's no more red. It's only purple now. It's saying a dollar seventy-five. I still have the four twenty-five, but things are looking bad, bro. It's amazing how fast everybody got the fuck out of here. All the Ubers were ready for them. All right, fuck it. It's time to. It's time to fucking. It's time to kick the bullet. Let's see. Just get, don't give me any shit. Give me something at least past fifteen bucks. All right, ten to. All right, 10 to Design District. That's not bad. It's still shit, considering a 425 rot fucking thing. God damn it. Piece of shit. All right. Hey, at least they're on the way. All right. So we're going to... That's the, hey, you know what? We did... We did... All right. Considering they were all short distance rides, and I got to do two rides instead of just one. But... We'll see. And Wynwood, I'm going to end up right by Wynwood, and there might be life up there. So we did what we could. Was it a mistake? Not to, not accepting that $31 premiere? Maybe they would have tipped well. This lady hasn't tipped yet either, though, so who knows? I just prefer doing short-distance rides. Now, if it was a premiere ride to Fort Lauderdale for $45.50... 
I would have accepted it right away. But that one was right in that little middle zone. Right in that uncomfortable little like, oh, you're right between uh, a great long distance ride and a kind of a crappy long distance ride. Slightly less long distance ride. All right, so we're picking this dude up and we're gonna be in the design district. Let's do it. Alrighty then, we are in design district. It is dead here, but we dropped off that customer and now we're gonna, I don't know, maybe we'll swing down Winwood. I know that Kiki, do you love me? Place is hitting. Probably not for another hour, but we're just gonna chill here in Brickle. Not sure if the airport's worth going back to. Kiki, do you love me? Yeah, Kiki loves you. You fucking... Uh... Alright, I'm gonna end the vlog, guys. I'm gonna end the vlog. Um, I'm gonna keep going. I'm at 161 bucks. But the night ain't over. And since I'm trying to make up for the bullshit towing thing that happened to me... I'm gonna keep going. And then hopefully keep going tomorrow. It's getting worse and worse. Hopefully tomorrow it'll seem normal. Thinking about even going to the beach. Oh, I got a reservation tomorrow at 12.30 p.m. from the airport. So I got a premiere reservation waiting for me. That'll be my first ride of the day tomorrow. All right, thanks for joining me. Leave a like, comment. All you new people who are watching my channel, please like, comment, and sub. Scribe with a B B B, or if you think I'm sus, then sus scribe. And I'll try to live stream this week too, so pay attention to my live streams later.